President Obama is coming to Massachusetts tomorrow to deliver the commencement address for Worcester Technical High School. This is a huge coup for the students and another feather in their cap. Our Ken McLeod is live in Worcester tonight with more on what should be a very memorable day. Ken? Lisa, the last sitting president to visit Worcester was Bill Clinton. That was about 15 years ago. So it's easy to understand why the city and the high school are so looking forward to tomorrow, even if it does come with some security hassles. A few hundred giddy seniors were pretty psyched as they streamed out of graduation rehearsal tonight. You know, it's just a great honor and privilege. Not every day does a student graduating get to say that Obama's coming to their graduation. Some toted their caps and gowns and admitted to some added presidential jitters. Because it's like such a big deal, you know, like we worked really hard for this and it's the president. I can't get any bigger than that. Impressed by Worcester Tech's turnaround in test scores, graduation rates and postgrad placements, President Obama agreed in March to be the school school's commencement speaker, taking note of the dynamic, hands-on vocational programs here. We are the future, and no matter where we go, that we'll be able to take what we learned here with us and that the school has taught us so much, and I think you'll see that. But the president's visit mandated a move to the DCU Center, where crowd control barricades went up tonight, not unlike those that'll seal off many streets between here and Worcester Regional Airport beginning tomorrow morning, long before Mr. Obama's arrival. This is really going to be an inconvenience for the motorists who need to get through the city uh, in that particular area, but if they can just plan accordingly, they can get around. Worth it, though, when the president speaks at your daughter's graduation. So I think it's pretty cool that we can add it to the bucket list and cross it off at the same time. Many at tonight's rehearsal expressed pride that out of high schools nationwide, the president picked them and are looking forward to a little memento to show off. People are going to be talking about their graduation. They're going to have their pictures up in their dorm, and mine's going to be a nice framed picture with President Barack Obama shaking my hand and handing me my diploma. <laughs> So Air Force One is set to touch down just before 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. And if you drive in this area, it might interest you to know that six miles of road between here and the airport are going to be shut down for most of the afternoon, not just for the presidential motorcade. Live in Worcester tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Lisa, back to you. Good information. Ken, thank you. This